Artifacts of Mars, and this is, the title says it all, Australian Hawks Starting Fires to Force Prey in Wide Open Spaces. <laughs> oh, yeah! Okay, folks, go grab a cup of coffee, sit back and relax, because we're going to have fun. I refuse even to entertain this. Bob Gosford is an American lawyer and bird lover who stumbled upon a night quest one day when he read an account of an indigenous Australian, meaning an aborigine, who watched a hawk apparently use a burning twig to spread fire. Gosford was fascinated and wondered whether others had seen the same phenomenon, and he and his co-authors have now tracked down 20 more examples of the Sharon recent paper published by in the Journal of Ethnobiology. That's the guy. Right here it is. It's a real paper. Unbelievable. Paper comes in response to skepticism of the behavior. <laughs> I'm not skeptical, I'm so you're laughing. Gasford and his co-authors found evidence that this behavior is well known to indigenous cultures, meaning aborigines, and to firefighters. <laughs> right. They believe that raptors are spreading fires to scare prey out of hiding and make it easier to catch dinner. Birds in question are black kites, whistling kites, and brown falcons, all birds of prey found in Australia. Black kites are also found in Europe, Africa, and Asia, and may be the single most common pra uh, raptor. One of the authors in this paper claims that a, fire, that a firefighter in the 1980s he extinguished several separate fires he watched whistling kite light. Oh my god. The behavior was never caught on film. <laughs> yeah, I wonder why. But the team wants to change that this year. They reached out to local fire managers to try to encourage them to record bird behavior near flames. You know, now I've heard everything. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not going to be able to stop laughing. If the behavior holds up, it'll be just the third known cause of wildfires after lightning strikes and human behavior. While fires that leap out of control can pose serious danger to humans, natural fires are a vital part of vital phenomenon in ecosystems where they occur. Stopping small, regular burns in an area can lead to an increased risk of larger, more dangerous fires as fuel builds up. Team is looking for The team is looking for reports of similar behavior from the birds outside of Australia. Nevertheless, they expect it might be fairly rare talent only picked up by a handful of individuals rather than the popular <laughs> feathery pastime. A pastime! <laughs> ah, yeah! Scientists already know the few North American birds that rely on fire. For example, the rare curtains warbles, a Michigan bird that nests in young trees that can only take root in the wake of fire in an endangered spot at all, so it's shown to thrive where small fires occur. You know, yeah, fires are a part of the ecosystem. That much is true. <laughs> like, come on. Not, why is artifacts landing? Let's look at this from a reasonable standpoint. You have a fire, and hot goes down and tries to pick up a burning twig. What's gonna happen? Its wings are gonna catch on fire. It's utter nonsense. Well, that's why it's called a man's science update. Because
goes. Now, well, that's just why it's called Man, man Science Update, because it's Man Science. Whoops! Hey, Mark, thanks, Mars. Coming to you from the frozen plains of sunny western New York State. Over to Santa Blizzard. Still ongoing. So it's not. 